हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन इंडिया लार्जेस्ट एंड नंबर वन ई लर्निंग एजुकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज ग्रेड ऑफ ऑल द कैंडिडेट फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी जस्ट क्विकली कन्फर्म विदर माई ऑडियो एंड विजुअल क्वालिटी एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर सो दैट वी कैन प्रोसीड टेल यू रिपोर्ट मी दिस लेट मी जस्ट ब्रीफ यू दैट दिस सेशन बिलोंग टू द पोस्ट गेट गाइडेंस सीरीज वेयर our single aim is to make every effort so that your preparation must continue even after the gate examination after the gate examination whether your gate examination has gone well or not your preparation must continue for that purpose we are bringing lot of important sessions for example this session so that you keep on brushing your concepts whether you want to go for mtech admissions psu jobs you must prepare yourself for the next stages because some of the premier institutes iits nits and isc bangalore they have their own written test based on the number of candidates applying for a particular course similarly if you want to go for the psu jobs there also there may be some stages interview round group discussion like that so you must be prepared for that and if your gate examination has not gone well then you must prepare for the upcoming examinations like bark isro engineering services examination and definitely next year gate examination <coughs> oh my god wagni how are you welcome to the session beta <coughs> suman lata how are you how are you welcome to the session so friends with this aim in our mind let us understand what is going to be the outcome of this session what is going to be the outcome of this session outcome of the session means if you attend this class completely then what you are going to get at the end of this class my friend today we are going to discuss complete picture everything about ferranti effect and let me tell you this is going to be very interesting session just be with me for next 30 40 minutes and we will have a completely different understanding of the ferranti effect good evening good evening i am fine shubhda kumar sena nitin satao tohin everybody <coughs> welcome to the session so without wasting much time let us proceed towards the session but one more thing everybody who is joining me do not forget to follow the lss method that if you think that you are getting some value addition आज कुछ तूफानी करते हैं डेफिनेटली तो हिंद आज जो मैं बताने जा रहा हूँ फेरेंटी इफेक्ट पे वो कुछ तूफान जैसा ही है बहुत मजा आएगा सेशन में और एंजॉय करो सेशन को इफ यू थिंक दैट यू आर गेटिंग समथिंग सम वैल्यू एडिशन यू आर गेटिंग डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक द सेशन एंड इफ यू थिंक नो नो सर इज गिविंग समथिंग एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू शेयर दिस विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड कलीग सो दैट मोर एंड मोर पीपल कैन बी बेनिफिटेड आउट ऑफ दैट Oh my God! So I got Pragya Shivastav. Good evening, good evening, beta. Prakhar, good evening. Welcome to the session, beta. So do share the session if you feel that uh, we are discussing something extraordinary, and do not forget to subscribe the Grade Up Gate YouTube channel so that you do not miss any of my sessions. Now let us quickly proceed towards the session. Some of you may be joining me for the first time, so there is a brief introduction about myself. My name is Ashutosh, as you can see on the screen. Ten plus years of teaching experience. completed mtech from iit bh in 2010 written couple of books and these are my areas of expertise that is power system electrical machines electromagnetic field theory material science and obviously engineering ethics now friends vision 2022 is one of the most exhaustive course for all the aspirants who are aiming for gate and esc and other psu examinations and this is one of the largest and most comprehensive course on the grade up platform for all the engineers My friend the grade up is offering you the february mail offer where you are getting flat 50% discount so if you want to go for grade up subscription do not forget definitely kumar sena i will provide you all the pdf some of the pdf i have missed because of some engagements but definitely you will be getting every pdf don't worry i will try my level best so you will be getting flat 50% off just two days are remaining but these days count is not important because these coupons are going to be limited and let me tell you one more thing i just forget to use one more discount slide because today today is the day if you want to take the grade up subscription today you will be getting i think 55% discount you are getting i don't know the exact details 
you can go to the grade up website or the grade up app and you will be getting all the informations there okay now friends the grade up super subscription has been restructured to meet various students requirement instead of instead of having a time based validity we are having exam oriented validity whatever examination you want to prepare accordingly you can choose the subscription plan and you can also use this discount if you want to go for get a super subscription in the february month itself definitely tohin <coughs> tohin i cannot share my personal details let us come back to the session the third edition of grade up national scholarship test is going to be conducted on 28th of february when we celebrate the science day for all the engineering branches mechanical civil electrical electronics and computer science and you must attempt this test because you will be able to win lot of scholarships prizes now let us start with the ferenti effect but before i start i want to ask all of you and please use the emoji options in the comment section of youtube you can express your emotions to tell me whether you are ready for the session or not because this is something going to be a roller coaster ride for today's session and you have to fasten your seat belt and be ready for the session this is going to be a roller coaster ride yes oh my god we have one of the greatest faculty from electrical department ishan mudgal the youngest and the most talented faculty most legendary faculty ishan mudgal sir are, is with us so everybody just say hi to ishan sir how are you ishan sir welcome to the session so friends i hope that you all are, you all are ready and excited about the session now let me start the session with the ferenti effect now let us go back and understand the history of this effect how it came into the being once upon a time 1890 the year was 1890 1890 there was a person whose name was s z ferenti this person for the first time he observed a very unique phenomena which is very difficult to digest throughout our intermediate btech graduation we all have read that current always flow from higher potential to lower potential but this person witnessed something very unique he said that there are some conditions when the receiving end voltage can be more than the sending end voltage we will discuss what are the conditions but try to understand the emotions of this person as z ferenti he said that there is a possibility there is a possibility that if this is going to be your sending end voltage and this is going to be your receiving end voltage there is a possibility there is a condition when you can have the receiving end voltage more than sending end voltage and this was a very unique phenomena and this person identified it observed it for the first time everybody just tell me in the comment section are you are you willing to know why this contradiction is there whether the concept we have read in our intermediate or the graduation that the current always flow from a higher potential to lower potential this statement is right or wrong and if that statement is right or wrong how this effect we are getting in our system my friend what you have read in your intermediate and btech that is not wrong but there are some conditions applied which we don't remember because your transmission line is not a simple wire it is not a simple resistance this transmission line is having resistance inductance conductance and capacitance now let us try to explore that why you are getting this unique phenomena in our power system but before that let me just tell you what are the conditions what are the conditions when you are going to witness this effect which we are calling as ferenti effect the first condition is the line current 
must be dominantly capacitive in nature capacitive in nature this is the first condition the second condition is this current must pass through the inductive element of the line inductive element of the line producing a drop producing a drop that is voltage drop producing a voltage drop opposite to the receiving end voltage receiving end voltage i hope you are able to see this statement are you able to see this statement i hope you are able to see this statement everybody just tell me in the comment section now these two conditions <coughs> we will try to apply in our transmission line suppose we have a transmission line like this these are the rlc component of your transmission line this is r l c this is sending and voltage this is sending and current this is receiving and voltage and receiving and current if you are saying that this shunt branch capacitor is also present then definitely there must be some line charging current this current we are calling as line charging current now the first condition we are going to fulfill what is the first condition the first condition is the line current must be dominantly capacitive in nature now can you tell me what is that unique particular condition when the line current is going to be dominantly capacitive in nature can you tell me in the comment section yes whenever you are going to have a no load or light load condition no load or light load condition then the line current is going to be dominantly capacitive in nature let us try to understand why suppose we are taking the extreme condition and that extreme condition is no load condition i always told you that load is always characterized in terms of the load current when you are saying there is no load condition it means load is not drawing any current so no current is drawn by the load if you are saying no load condition is there no load is connected here definitely 100% confidence you can say that the receiving end current is going to be zero if this receiving end current is zero my friend you tell me this line charging current is present even in the no load condition and if this line charging current is present this current must be supplied by this source or the sending end this current must be supplied by the source connected at the sending end now my friend definitely this current is going to be capacitive in nature and it is passing through the transmission line so the first condition is fulfilled let us see the second condition the second condition says this dominantly capacitive line current must pass through the inductive element of the line so your desire is fulfilled both the conditions are getting fulfilled so you are getting the ferranti effect but we are not sure and we want to check whether it is right or wrong suppose i want to know the phasor diagram for this circuit what is going to be the phasor diagram suppose this is your receiving end voltage the receiving end voltage manas manas jyoti hello sir my xz paper marks is 32 what can be my score beta i i am not sure about it i am not sure about it 
uh, you better contact the back end team they are going to help you in that okay i'm not sure about this paper now if you see this circuit for this circuit can you write the kvl equation yes you can write sending and voltage is equal to receiving and voltage plus what is the current current is ic and what is this this is going to be r plus j omega l can you write this kvl equation yes it means if you have to draw the phasor diagram the sending and voltage you will be getting as the addition of receiving and voltage plus the voltage drop in the resistance and the inductive element that is the reactance i have taken this receiving and voltage as the reference phasor where you are going to plot where you are going to draw the capacitive line charging current because it is a line charging current capacitive current it is leading this voltage by 90 degree it is leading this voltage by 90 degree because the capacitor is connected in the chunt branch now the resistive voltage drop is going to be in the same direction as that of this current so both of them are parallel when you are going to draw the inductive voltage drop or reactance voltage drop you have one extra j what is j beta can we write it as cos 90 plus j sin 90 yes we can write can i write it in the polar form as one angle 90 degree it means whenever you are going to multiply a phasor by this number j complex number j the magnitude is not going to be affected but there will be a phase displacement in the anti clockwise by 90 degree now this is the ic current direction if you want to know what is the direction of this i j omega l this i j omega l is going to be in this direction so this is going to be ic j omega l now you add all these phasors and you will get the sending and voltage this is your sending and voltage now you do not require any rocket science to understand why you are getting this sending and voltage less than receiving and voltage are you getting this or not what is the reason this is responsible this is responsible for the ferranti effect this phasor which is in opposition to the receiving and voltage this is responsible for the ferranti effect even if this condition you are not able to understand i will give you a more simple way to understand the ferranti effect because now i want to assume that it is a lossless line so that resistance is zero when resistance is zero suppose this is your receiving and voltage this is your line charging current leading this voltage by 90 degree and the only drop which is present here is going to be the voltage drop in the inductive element of the line and this is going to be ic j omega l now this is going to be your sending and voltage now very effectively you can say that receiving and voltage is more than sending and voltage this is how we are going to prove that ferranti effect is there if there is a no load or light load condition when the line current is dominantly capacitive in nature and that dominantly capacitive current is passing through the inductive element of the line producing a drop which is against the receiving and voltage so you are getting the ferranti effect this is the phasor diagram approach to understand the ferranti effect now let me just tell you the mathematical approach to understand the ferranti effect how you are writing the KVL equation Vs is equal to Vr plus Ic this is R plus J omega L what is Ic can you tell me from this circuit can you tell me what is this current Ic yes voltage is there capacitance is there you can easily find what is going to be the current Ic it is going to be Vr J omega C just put this value here so you will be getting Vs is equal to Vr ic is vr j omega c r plus j omega l just separate the real and imaginary part you will be getting vr plus vr 
this j and j will give you a minus sign omega is square and this will be lc and after that you will be getting one imaginary part that is plus j and this is going to be vr omega rc now my friend again i am assuming that this resistance is zero and it is a lossless transmission line if this is a lossless transmission line we are left with only this part of the equation where you can write vr is equal to vs plus vr is equal to vs plus vr omega square lc from this equation also you can say vr is vs plus something so you can say vr is more than vs so you have proved that yes 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 Parenti effect is a truth. Parenti effect is a truth, hence proved. Everybody just tell me. Maza hai to tali baja do. Aur abhi picture baaki hai mere dost. Picture abhi baaki hai. Ye mat samajhna picture khatam ho gayi. Yahan tak to sab padhte hain. Iske baad jo hum discuss karenge, wo gate exam aapse poochta hai. Abhi do teen saal pehle poochha hai. You please do not think that the story is over. Ek tar aaja, ek tirani, dono mar gaye khatam kahani. Aisa nahi hai. एक राजा और रानी के होने के बाद उनके मरने से पहले बीच में बहुत कुछ है उसको भी सुनना है उसको भी समझना है क्वेश्चन वहीं से आएगा तो हिंद चक्रवर्ती सेंग सर प्लीज रिपीट द लॉसलेस टर्म सी द लॉसलेस टर्म आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट दिस टर्म इज लॉसलेस आई एम सेइंग व्हेन रेजिस्टेंस इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो फॉर द लॉसलेस कंडीशन ऑफ द लाइन your transmission line is a conductor the x by r ratio of your transmission line is very high what is the meaning of x by r ratio very high it means r is very small when resistance is very small very effectively you can say yes it is a lossless line i hope you are getting my point clear are you getting this now the real story is going to start now gate is going to ask you okay ferenti effect is there okay you know the conditions can you tell me the difference in voltage between the sending and and receiving and voltage this is what gate examination has asked two three years before now please try to understand the logic i am saying that the difference in the voltage in the sending and and receiving and voltage is 1 by 2 IC multiplied by J omega L. Now you have to really have courage to understand how I have written this equation. Please try to understand. Be very serious for next 30 seconds. It is extremely important. I am saying this is my transmission line. I am saying this is my transmission line. But the moment I say this is my transmission line, one of the student is going to get up and he will say, no, sir, this is not my transmission line. My transmission line is like this. This is my transmission line. I am going to put the capacitor here. Why I should put the capacitor in the end? I will put the capacitor here. I will say, okay, no problem. This is the situation. My friend, I am asking you a very fundamental question. You tell me in this case, Ferranti effect is present or not. A option present, B option not present. Same thing you have to tell me for this circuit. Ferranti effect present or Ferranti effect not present. You have to tell me. Very fundamental question. And I will also check, test whether you are able to understand the concept I have given to you or not. Maybe what important. Okay. For the first circuit, Ferenti effect is present or not? What is your choice? A or B? The second circuit, what is your choice? Ferenti effect is present or not? Not able to decide.
not able to recite now let me give you a small story suppose you have some desires in your life you have some conditions in your life conditions your desires are nothing but conditions in the life yes or no what you desire in your life that is nothing but the condition in your life if all the desires in your life got fulfilled then what is going to happen with your life मतलब तुमने जीवन में जो सोचा था सब पा लिया फिर क्या होगा फिर होगी एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन व्हाट इज एक्सट्रीम कंडीशन दिस सर्किट इट इज गोइंग टू फुलफिल ऑल द कंडीशंस इफ देर इज गोइंग टू बी ए चार्जिंग करंट दिस चार्जिंग करंट इज पासिंग थ्रू द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन फर्स्ट कंडीशन फुलफिल्ड फर्स्ट कंडीशन फुलफिल्ड the line current is dominantly capacitive in nature first condition fulfilled what is the second condition this dominantly capacitive current must pass through the inductive element of the line producing a voltage drop which is opposite to the receiving end voltage my friend it is not that ferenti effect is present this is wrong this is also wrong my friend this is the extreme case of ferenti effect this is not just ferenti effect is present this is the extreme effect extreme case of ferenti effect why because all the charging current is passing through all the inductive element of the line all the charging current is passing through all the inductive element of the line so this is not just ferenti effect present my friend this is the extreme case of ferenti effect now let us come to this circuit the first condition the line current must be dominantly capacitive in nature first condition not fulfilled why charging current is present but this charging current is not passing through the inductive element this transmission line it is bypassed so my friend this case there is no ferenti effect ferenti effect is not present when ferenti effect is not present this is one extreme case when ferenti effect is present this is one extreme case and we have to take the average we have to take the average of these two extreme cases that is why this case ic current is contributing this case ic current is contributing in the ferenti effect and this case ic current is bypassed so we are saying zero capacitive current is passing through the inductive element of the line and that is why we are saying that the voltage difference between the sending end and receiving end voltage we are defining as 1 by 2 why this 1 by 2 ic because we want to take the average of two extreme conditions and this is going to give us the average average line charging current and this average line charging current we are multiplying with the reactance of the inductive element of the line now electrical engineering is over and it is only mathematics what is this 1 by 2 what is ic can you tell me yes v r omega c j i am removing i do not require j because i am talking about the magnitude so this is omega l you are writing it as 1 by 2 v r omega square l c what is l l you can write as l per kilometer multiplied by length of the line what is c c per kilometer multiplied by length of the line so i can write the final expression of the voltage difference between the receiving end and sending end voltage and this is going to be 1 by 2 vr and this is omega square l per kilometer c per kilometer l square this is the final expression 2 years back they have asked the question direct question on this expression just put the values and you will get your answer everybody just tell me in the comment section are you able to follow this or not extremely important thing we are discussing just tell me yes or no in the comment section and my friend again i am saying the story is not complete picture abhi baki hai mere dost abhi to humne samjha hai abhi apply kahan kiya hai aur gate mein application bahut important ab hum ये जानना चाहते हैं वी वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट इज द कंडीशन 
when we can say with 100% confidence that yes, is parenti effect is present. What is that condition? This we want to know. Because every circuit we will not be able to know whether the line current is dominantly capacitive in nature or not and whether this dominantly capacitive current in the line is passing through the inductive element of the line or not because for a complex circuit we may not be knowing. So we want a shortcut. Shortcut we are going to discuss. Now let us try to understand focus for next 30-40 seconds. I am saying suppose you have a transmission line like this. Suppose you have a transmission line like this. This is your transmission line. Now you will say sir why you are using ABCD parameters. My friend let me tell you we are using ABCD parameters to represent our line because we want a common approach for analyzing our transmission line whether it is a short, medium or long transmission line. We are not going to care about it because the moment we define our transmission line by using ABCD parameters, the approach of the analysis is going to be same for whatever case you want to apply it. Because if you are having a short transmission line, accordingly you will put the ABCD parameter values. If you have a medium transmission line, accordingly you will put the values and respectively for the long transmission line also. So we are saying this is our transmission line. For this transmission line, we are having the equation Vs is equal to AVR plus BIR. The first thing, <coughs> no load condition. Because no load condition only there is a possibility that you can get the Ferranti effect. So we are checking with the no load condition. No load condition means current drawn at the receiving end by the load is zero. When you are going to put receiving end current as zero, you are going to get Vs is equal to A because this part is going to become zero. You will be getting A. You will be getting A VRO. What is this VRO? It is no load receiving end voltage. No load receiving end voltage. Now my friend, I can write this as VRO upon Vs is equal to 1 by A. For the Ferranti effect, for the Ferranti effect, you must have the no load receiving end voltage more than the sending end voltage and this is only possible when the magnitude of A parameter is going to be less than 1. This is going to be your final shortcut to know whether Ferranti effect is present or not. Everybody just tell me in the comment section are you able to follow this or not. Whether it is gate, engineering services, ISRO, mark any examination. If you have this confidence, this much confidence A to Z of every single topic in your subject, my friend, nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. Suppose you have a short transmission line. For the short transmission line, you know this A parameter is 1. When this A parameter is 1, there is no Ferranti effect. There is no Ferranti effect because this magnitude of A must be less than 1 which is not possible for the short transmission line. For the medium transmission line, if you want this magnitude of A must be less than 1, what is this A parameter? Can you tell me? Yes, this is going to be 1 plus Yz by 2 that must be less than 1. If you are getting this condition, 100% confidence you can say, yes, my friend, Ferranti effect is present. If you are having a long transmission line, for the long transmission line, again, same condition for the Ferranti effect. My friend, you are saying cos hyperbolic gamma L magnitude less than 1. If this condition is fulfilled, even for your long transmission line, you can say yes, Ferranti effect is present. Everybody just tell me in the comment section or thoda emoji we use karo. Agar baat samaj mein aarai hai, baat pahunch rahi hai tum tak. If you are getting the point I am trying to make, please tell me in the comment section. So this is all for today's session. Thank you so much for joining me in the session. But before I conclude the session, let me just brief you. My friend, that this session daily 10 p.m. in the night, I am discussing the important concepts of power system. Do not forget to join me tomorrow. These sessions are really going to be helpful for your next coming examination stage. So be ready 
for tomorrow's session. But before I conclude, these are the faculties in the electrical department who are going to mentor you for the next coming. Gai tonde bhao, kai karute. Kaise kaise sawal pushte ho yaar, aise sawal nahi pushna chahiye gai tonde. Okay. बात समझ में आ रही है देखो एक चीज जिंदगी में हमेशा ध्यान रखना जौहरी होता है ना ज्वेलरी की शॉप पे जाते हो जौहरी जौहरी सोने के ऊपर स्टिकर लगाता है कि हाँ ये सोना है क्यों लगाता है जौहरी सोने के ऊपर स्टिकर लगाता है ना कि हाँ भाई सोना है 24 कैरेट का क्यों लगाता है क्योंकि वो उसमें कुछ मिलावट करता है उस मिलावट को छुपाना होता है तभी तो एक स्टिकर लगा देता है चौबीस कैरेट का क्या तुमने आज तक कभी यह सुना है कि किसी सोने किसी सोने ने गोल्ड ने अपने माथे पे लिख दिया हो यस आई एम ट्वेंटी फोर कैरेट गोल्ड सोना कभी अपने माथे पर नहीं लिखता है कि मैं ट्वेंटी फोर गोल्ड हूं अगर तुम्हें लगता है कि ट्वेंटी फोर कैरेट गोल्ड है तो तुम उसको ले सकते हो लेकिन जो माथे पर लिख रहा है कि मैं ट्वेंटी कैरेट गोल्ड हूं इसका मतलब कुछ घपला है मेरे दोस्त ये देश वो देश है कि जहां पर लिखा होता है यहां थूकना मना है वहीं पर लोग थूकते हैं जहां लिखा होता है कि यहां लोग सच बोलते हैं इसका मतलब कोई तो झूठ बोलता होगा तभी तो लोग कह रहे हैं कि सच बोलो तो ये बात होती है बातों के बीच की बात को समझने की अगर समझ गए हो मेरा पॉइंट तो दोस्त मुझे तुम्हारे क्वेश्चन को आंसर करने की जरूरत ही नहीं है तो बच्चों ताली बताओ जल्दी से मजा आया तो दोस्तों फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अबाउट द ग्रेड अप students result for the previous years and 2020 has been a landmark year where more than 60 plus grade up students have secured top 100 all india ranks and you could be the next one in this frame this is about the grade up super subscription just one subscription which gives you access to all the structured live courses and all the online mock tests within just one subscription for any further clarification, you can contact this number. You will not be able to see the number because of the advertisement. Let me just give you the number. It is 965-005-2904. Are you able to follow this? Gai Tonde Bhau got the answer. Great. <coughs> so my friend, you are getting structured live courses, complete doubt resolution, performance and report card, expert faculty and the full syllabus coverage. This is what you are going to get under the Grid of Super subscription. So thank you so much for joining me in this session. I hope you must have enjoyed this session and I hope that you are going to come tomorrow in my session and we are going to have a party of technical knowledge, technical concepts. Thank you so much for joining me in this session. Take care of yourself. Practice smart, score better, go grade up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Take care. Thank you, Veda. See you again tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody.